I'm head coach for the club, um, so I oversee all the other coaches. Um, so part of my job is to um, create a rot rota for the club and then within that rota I then tie in the annual plan um, and I then allocate coaches to write session plans. Um, so I'm not, right, well, the only session plan I'm writing is for the academy. Um, this allows all the other coaches to then develop their group that they're coaching and develop their own coaching skills at the same time. So I set up um, a squad called the Academy Squad within our club um, for our older athletes that we identified that were wanting more training. 12 to 16, well 12 to 18, and wanted more, um, specifically more pool time, so um, a bit of juggling and a bit of trying to work out how we would do it. Um, so we went from two groups to three groups and the Academy Squad now swim for longer and now they do running and biking for a bit uh, longer as well now. The club started as a pretty small club and it's now big, um, so we have 60 members. So by creating this academy group it's allowed us to have, allowed for more members, so we've now got uh, over 64 members and we've still got a waiting list. So we're working more specifically on swimming in June, so we've identified that um, some of them, they cannot, well, they can all swim, but they're just lacking that little bit of endurance in swimming. So hence the longer session and because um, it's a quieter session, because they've got basically an hour of quieter swimming lanes, they can then just crack on and um, do the swimming that needs to get done rather than getting caught behind people because the lanes are too busy. So before, when we just had two groups, it was like eight or nine to lane and it was quite crowded and people couldn't swim properly, whereas um, now it works out that they're getting an hour of undisrupted swimming. For the club is to keep it, um, or for the squad is to keep it um, going and keep those athletes engaged, um, short term and long term. So those that are, you know, 16, 17, 18, they still are part of the squad. But then once, um, you know, they're in university, maybe they look to come back and coach within the club. Um, and long term goals is try and make it, offer them more sessions. Um, pool times limited, um, but offer them more sessions and more stuff within the holidays. Well, you get a long time of, of doing exercise. It's good for exercise, good for training. We go through like lots of things that you do in a triathlon, which is very helpful to get the practical experience as well as just training every week. So it's building your fitness up. Oh, she, she's just great in general. She's like, basically we're all like friends of her as well because she's really easy to chat to and she's good at explaining all the questions and making it clear and if I need something clarified then I can just go to her and she'll like explain it again. And all her sessions are good as well. They're like interesting and fun and like work on different stuff. So like swimming, we'll be like doing swimming stuff and I can like be to her like, oh, I've been like struggling with this or how can I improve this? And then she'll like watch me and check and help me improve certain things. Or when we're running, she'll give like advice on what we can be doing and even like outside the club, what we can be doing to like improve.